Welcome back everyone, Phoenix3 here, and today I'm going to be playing some more Pokemon Showdown, but I think I'm going to do some VGC doubles. I just uh, jump on, jumped on real quick to see if something was good, and I just finished this battle here. Uh, really awkward team my opponent had here. Um, I'll just show the replay, I guess, just so you can kind of see what was going on. But um, basically, I kind of want to get serious with VGC. And I'm trying to find a perfect way of running some things. So this here is really a test. Like this Cresselia has a uh, Trick Room, uh, Skill Swap, Ice Beam, and Toxic. I really want to put Moonlight on it, but I'm just trying to figure out exactly what I kind of wanted to do. Like the ideal thing for me to do here would have to been just Skill Swap to Storm Drain off of Cradilly and just scald the camera up because he wouldn't have seen it coming but um apparently i'm not that smart in this game so i don't do any of that and i basically lose my vaporeon for free but basically i was uh just kind of testing what i want to do for example my zangoose has max hp max attack um which is the reason why it was able to take this mock punch here uh my pidgeot is running max HP max special attack because at base 121 its speed is 141 I outspeed a lot of things and things that I don't necessarily outspeed I wouldn't outspeed anyway now there is a problem with the uh, Charizard matchup as well as the uh, Kangaskhan matchup uh, the reason I'm not running speed is because Sucker Punch still wrecks Mega, Mega Pidgeot but um, with the HP I might be able to take a hit from the uh, Charizard especially if it's a heat wave so basically I'm just uh, testing some stuff here in terms of what it is I wanted to do. Uh, the Verizian is pretty much the same. I don't want to run it simply because I don't like Stone Edge. It can miss at a crucial moment. So I want to find a Pokemon with a more reliable rock type move. I was thinking about putting maybe Hidden Power Rock on one of my other Pokemon. Zangoose, for example, learns uh, Rock Slide. But I'm not sure what I want it to do. I may take... Hidden Power Ice off of Zapdos if I'm going to be using it on Cresselia. Because I'm always going to use Cresselia in a match my opponent has a Solomence and a, uh, a Landorus. So I could have something better here because my Zapdos isn't running speed either. It's running max special attack and max HP. Now, the purpose for this is because I do have Icy Wind, Tailwind, and uh, Trick Room. So I can always outspeed something that I need to be faster than as well. I was thinking about trying to do some shenanigans here or like maybe skill swap, toxic boost or whatever with Zangles, you know, just stuff. I'm trying to get a feel for it right now. So I'm just going to uh, go in, play some more games, see what happens. VGC is one of those formats I have a love-hate relationship with because sometimes you just come across some real broken shit and it's like, oh my god, I can't believe I lost to that. Other times you just get wins. And like one time I was playing a game a couple of days ago. And I was going to beat my opponent's heat ran, and he got protect three times in a row when my Zapdos was poisoned. You know, had I known any of that was happening, I would have roosted. But I mean, it's just that. It's a luck filled format, and I hate losing games, especially when I should have won it. But my opponent just got lucky, and he was able to clutch out the win. So here, um, because I had the Mega Pidgeot and Zapdos, I'm really expecting Tyranitar to lead. I could definitely do skill swap shenanigans, so I think Cresselia will be a good uh, Pokemon to use here. I can also probably lead with, like if I wanted to, Cresselia, Verizian would be good. Um, I could lead Verizian and Zangoose and still be good. I could lead Verizian, probably Zapdos and still be good. Basically I don't want to be taunt based, but the uh, Whimsicott is scary as well as the uh Nidal queen vaporeon is definitely a good pokemon to use in this match i'm just not sure who i want to lead with the uh close combat just immediately threatens the tyranitar i got stone edge as well and i can hit the uh i can hit everything here for weakness as a matter of fact it's just trying to figure out who do i really want like i just like using pidgeot in every single match but i really don't think i need to do it here I mean, I can Hurricane the Whimsicott, and that just immediately removes it from the field, if assuming it's not sashed. 
So who am I expecting to lead? Probably Whimsicott and Tyranitar. Uh, he's probably going to have uh, this in the back. I think I'm going to lead Zangoose. He doesn't have he doesn't have intimidate, so I mean that's that's going to be a big deal. Uh, this has Will Willow. Okay, that's something else to consider too as well. I don't I don't know who I want to lead with. Like I think I want to lead with Verizian. Let's do Verizian Cresselia. Verizian and Cresselia, because Cresselia would uh, prankster is actually kind of stupid, so I think that'd be kind of good. Um, I really want Pidgeot here just to hyper beam something. Uh, we need Vaporeon, unfortunately. Um, but I think. I think I'm going to go with Zapdos. That just seems like the best neutral move. So there's a Whimsicott and Tyranitar. Alright, so that's a, uh, that's a good lead. I can immediately close combat Tyranitar. Uh, does Whipsicott get something like Fake Out? I don't know what this thing wants to do though. So I could do something like close combat here. And I can like skill swap Whimsicott. So there's a protect, uh, taunt. Okay, so that happened. That's right. I don't need that, I guess. So I have a play I can make here. I could either Leaf Blade into Tyranitar slot. Or I can uh, or I could close combat, just go for the kill. I mean, I know he's going to call it back. Or I could switch out. I think I'm going to do that. I'm going to switch out here and Ice Beam the Whimsicott. He has to call it back. Yeah, probably into the yeah, Je Jellicent. So, we are definitely looking good here. We are covering our bases. I'm not going to go for any more plays here. I'm just going to do this. Thunderbolt. And I got the Vaporeon in the back, so... Yeah, we're not doing that. We're just going to Thunderbolt here. And he's got Paralyzed, so that's good. Ice Beam the Whimsicott. Alright. So what I can do now is... How much did the Ice Beam do? Ice Beam did possibly 52. I have to double in the Whimsicott, I think. Oh, Whimsicott is such an annoying Pokemon to deal with. Um, I think I call Zapdos back. I think I call Zapdos back and go into a um into we'll see, but Zapdos has the uh you know what? Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna double in the Whimsicott. Yeah. Okay, cool. So we about to remove Whimsicott right now. That hidden power did a lot. Recover, that's fine. Uh, this is just going to create a problem now because uh, Tarantar just comes back in and he could threaten with a rock slide or a crunch. Uh, but the thing is, though, is what's more of a problem for him here? I think I just go into a Verizian. I could double switch actually. Yeah, we're going to do that. I mean, Cresselia is still really good here. And we get the boost. <laughs> you get the defense drop though. Ah, oh, but it doesn't matter. The icy wind. Oh my goodness. Now I have to call it back. It's water absorb, not curse body. Um. Yeah, I'm a scald here. I got to go back into Cresselia. Ouch. I would much rather have Toxic on that Jellicent. So what do we do? I think
think we scald and we skill swap I could toxic see but the thing is though is Cresselia doesn't have any healing so I think I'm, I want to skill swap here I want to take that ability because we get the burn that's gonna be very helpful yes that's exactly what I want to see um how much did that crunch do I mean it doesn't matter I guess so we're gonna wish and Yeah, I'm just gonna be gonna deal with this Tarantar just a little bit more. So there's the rock slot. Okay, great, even better. So my Scald is gonna go into Cresselia because we've got the. Uh... Oh, it's Curse Body. Okay, never mind. Actually, Curse Body would have been really nice to go off right there. Um, I'm gonna protect. I wanna play it safe. And I'm going to Ice Beam the Tyranitar. I, I want my Vaporeon to be healthy. Because the Tyranitar is going to die. Um, eventually. Oh, I wish I had Protect here. Um, I'm just gonna hit the that thing. Trantar dies at the end of this turn, so I'm just gonna double into the um Jellicent. Okay. Eventually Trick Room's gonna be good here. Starmie. Um, Icy Wind, Toxic, wow, that's fine, Jealous is paralyzed, I don't need to worry about it, but basically I just need his speed to be low enough so I can just, the Verizian, Leaf Blade, knock him out, but we're going to continue to drop Icy Winds just in case uh, Starmie does protect. So I guess the uh, part of my success here was recognizing my uh, my opponent's possible threats to my team and how he could have covered his weakness. Because I was coming close combat hard at him. So we just... Um, I'm just going to keep attacking into him. I'm going to want... I'm going to let him... Oh, he's weak to that? D doesn't Ghost... Resist. Um, I thought Ghost resisted Grass. Okay, well, I mean, there's a uh, another another good game there. Um, I made the right decisions. Um, let's look for another one. Curse Body. If that thing was Water Absorb, I could have made some shenanigans with the um, the Cresselia, but I could always take. The uh, Vaporeon's ability, if I needed to, and I just here is going to be a little hard. Uh, the the Hitmon top has both Fake Out and Wide Guard, which means my Pidgeot's not going to be able to drop its Heat Wave like it wants to. I don't think Pidgeot's going to be good in this match anyway. But I mean, a Hyper Beam knocks out the uh, Thunderous in one hit. Hyper Beam is just a really strong move against everything else here. That's still something to consider, in my opinion. Um, I think my lead, I want to lead something that has double protect, but that can also hit this heat ran kind of hard. I'm thinking maybe Vaporeon and Cresselia, because I could take Gardevoir's Pixelate, and for example, I can shuffle that around on his team to cripple his stuff, which is the reason why I want Moonlight on this Cresselia, so I'm trying to decide what I might take off. Toxic is proving its worth in my opinion. 
so Trick Room might come off, but I like having an anti-Trick Room uh, Pokemon. But yeah, Cresselia suffers a lot from a 4-move syndrome. Zapdos is a good Pokemon I could use here. It doesn't have Heat Wave, but I can hit the Thunderous pretty hard, which is always a big deal. Zangoose would be really good here as well. But I'm going to have to definitely get some speed control going, so I have to bring both Vaporeon and Cresselia into this match. So I think we're going to lead Vaporeon. Um, I need something else that's kind of neutral that can take hits. Uh, I think Zapdos is good. It has recovery. Actually, I don't think it's good to lead, Vapo or to lead Vaporeon. I think we're going to lead Zapdos, Cresselia, uh, Zangoose in the back. With Vaporeon. Yeah. Politoed and Thunderous. That that is that's that's good. Uh, basically I can Thunderbolt something. I'm a Thunderbolt Thunderous and I'm going to take his prankster. I could just knock it out though, with an ice beam. If I double into it. I think that's the play. Oh, he's bulky. Scald. And he gets the burn. That's annoying, actually. Um. I roost. I roost an ice beam. Oh, if he didn't get the burn. Citrus Berry is up. If if Garvar comes in, I have to take its ability. Okay. So I think that's exactly what's happening here. Um, I got to sacrifice. I don't want to sacrifice Zapdos. It's so good against that. Um, what, what we're going to do is this. Actually... Let's see, what's the turn order? Thunder, Zapdos, Cresselia, then Politoed. But he got the Icy Wind, so I can possibly Trick Room here. And on the next turn, take his ability. Let's see. Switch to Vaporeon. Trick Room. I don't know if that's the right move, but I need I need to do something. Ah, oh, fuck! I forgot about the burn. I forgot about the burn. Um, I'm gonna double protect and facade into the uh, thing here. I think I messed up, but I don't think it would have mattered though. The Trick Room does what? Gives me a couple turns to do something, but I don't know how slow things are here. I may have just screwed myself, but I think we're just going to go here. Um, I'm 110 speed. This probably isn't running speed. Uh, this probably isn't running speed either, but... I mean, I really don't want to lose my Zangoose. But now I'm slower than the Gardevoir, which sucks. But I should be able to take a Hyper Voice. Maybe. Okay, I'm fine with that. Fake out. Fine by me. So now I should be able to take a Scald if this thing wants to drop one. I'm going to commit to that. And 
get a roost. The burn would have been nice there, though. I could just Thunderbolt that Polytoad right now. Oh man, fairy the fairy type is such a stupid typing. Like if it had weakness to fire, it'd be a little bit more manageable, but like I can't hit fairy with, with weakness. I just have to hit it once and hope it dies. Alright, so what's my opponent doing? Turn that timer on. So there's a skull. That'll. Oh, it didn't kill me. All right. All right. Okay. Turn order. Vaporeon went. Then Zapdos. Um. I think I am just going to all-out attack here. I could use this turn to Tailwind. That too is an option. But, because the thing is, is I need to be faster than the, uh, but my Thunderbolt shouldn't knock this Politoed out though. Gardevoir. All right, so I got two attacks. Well, no, I got just a Thunderbolt going into it. Um, I'm going to Icy Wind and Tailwind. Maybe Zapdos is bulky enough to take a hit here. Okay, cool. Vaporeon is so slow, but now my Vaporeon should be faster than the hit him on top, so this makes things interesting. The Gardevoir didn't show Protect, hit him on top did, but if the if he does Protect with Gardevoir, then Vaporeon knocks out with Scald, I think. So that's what we're going to do. He has the Protect. Goodness, hopefully we get the burn. No burn. I'm still gonna hit the guard bar though, I should be faster. 110 versus 167. I think I lose. Crap. <sighs> My Vaporeon got the wish. I can do that. Polytoe doesn't look like it has anything that can hit me. Let's think this through. I can Scald. See, the thing is, is I have to protect with Zangoose. He would notice. He would know that. The Toxic wouldn't kill me, but he just protects next round, for example. Which means I can still get a... um. I can still get an icy wind off. 
and then I could just facade the Politoed. But I just want I want to hit this Garvar though. It's it's too strong. The hyper voice is so strong. I wish the ability pixelate didn't give a free life orb. All right, so what's what's the play here? What's the play? I can scald this slot, get some damage, and then I can. Okay, here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna scald Garvar, and we're gonna protect with Zangus. See, I, I, if I would have just known he was going to do to protect that turn. Okay, okay. Okay, we got something here. Burn, give me the burn. No burn. Um, I just click Skull to win. I mean, Polito can't do anything to me. And then we knock out the guard of our... Yes, oh my god. I fucking hate that Pokemon. Um, I was gonna say, if he, if he had Parasong, he would have used it already. And that should be GG. Unless shenanigans happen. Nope. Alright. Vaporeon putting in work. Uh, this is the thing I hate about these VGC teams, man. They're so boring to face. Like, I wish uh, the move Wide Guard had more distribution. It's on like 10 Pokemon, like three of which could possibly even see any play. It's so annoying. Like, I would love for like Wide Guard on like Pidgeot. Oh my god, this man again. All right, uh, let's see. We got a Shell Smash Sweeper, Mega Lop Bunny, Fake Out, Encore, Raichu Support, Standard Greninja, Patchy Risu with the Nuzzle, and Togekiss Redirect. So what I want to do probably is something like Cresselia and Zangoose. Yeah, let's do that. Cresselia Zangoose. Um, bring a Pidgeot here would be like suicidal, I think. I can hit that Law Bunny for weakness, which is what I really want to do. Uh, but I also have a Zapdos I can use that's reasonably bulky. Um, I'm going to bring Pidgeot. And I mean, I guess Zapdos is good, right? Hmm. Yeah, let's do it. Toby Kiss and Clam Pearl. All right, so what do we do? What do we do? What do we got? What do we got? We've got Shell Armor, Rattle. I think we do this. We go Ice Beam, Knock Off. Knock Off. Knock Off on who, though? It don't matter. Is this one in? I'm going to hit click that. Deep Sea Tooth. Okay. There's a Shell Smash. You guys know what that means, right? Well, I guess it means a forfeit. Alright. I was just going to click Trick Room and protect with Zangoose. Then, actually, that wasn't going to do much. I definitely needed, like, Discharge here. Yeah, Discharge would wreck this. Oh well, but doesn't matter now. On it left. Hold on, what did that say? NRU Tarantula will be staying in the tier at this suspect with a final vote of 47 to 48. Yeah, that's what happens. You only let like 1% of the people fucking vote. Because this isn't even like a real vote. 
out of like the thousands of people that play Smogon, only what's that? Less than a hundred people got to vote. Okay, so what do we do here? Verizian is looking really strong in this match. It can hit five things here for super effective and possibly knock them out in one hit. So we're definitely bringing Verizian. Um, I like I like Cresselia in the lead. I don't want to start with a physical attacker though. So I could bring mm, Cresselia Vaporeon. Try an incredibly bulky lead. I could use Zapdos too. Vaporeon in the back. Yeah, let's do that. Vaporeon in the back in Verizian. That's the squad right there. All right, let's see what he got. Charizard and Thunderous. Juicy. Juicy starts. Incredibly juicy starts. I like this. I am immediately going to... Um, I can skill swap Thunderous, though. I could also Trick Room. That won't be shenanigans. What does Charizard do? Charizard could possibly switch out into either Swampert or... The uh, Landorus. But I think I want to Ice Beam the Thunderous and Tailwind here. See if he swaps out. Oh, he's staying in. Alright. Oh, this thing is bulky. Alright. I want to break that sub though. Oh, substitute Charizard. Could just double into Thunderous. I don't think that'd be wise. Thunderbolt break the sub. Ice beam into Thunderous instead of put it below 50. We'll see if it's got a citrus berry or not. got it's gonna be hard I know he has either Swampert or Delanderous everyone brings genies into every battle so there's no reason to not assume he doesn't have it let's see if he's got the citrus he does and the heat wave a lot of damage okay Okay, he had to have brought the Landorus and or the uh, the Swampert. So should I just roost with Zapdos and Ice Beam the Charizard? Try to make a play, I guess. Okay. 
Charizard staying in there. So, I mean, I knew that was going to happen, which is why I, I did what I did. I got one more turn. But Charizard's dead, yes! Oh my goodness. I just do not like dealing. Oh, he gets a crit. But that's alright, though. Thunderous is definitely on his last leg. Um, I'm doing a skill swap heat ran. Uh, which means I could. I could actually switch out here into Vaporeon. I don't know if I want to do that, though. I mean, I have no reason to assume he's not going to click Taunt on Cresselia, so. Did my Citrus Berry already activate? No, I still got it. I'm going to click Skill Swap just to see what happens, and... Seventy-six. Um... I think I clicked Tailwind. I mean, Close Combat knocks this thing out, right? I think I clicked Thunderbolt. Ah, oh, crack it, you click Roost or Tailwind. I'm a Thunderbolt that he ran. Let's see if it's like got sub or something. Nope, it's definitely just going to attack. There's my Citrus. And I got Flash Fire. He's going to switch out. So I have no reason to not go into Vaporeon here. Um, I'm an Ice Beam. Thunderous protect. I don't want to eat a taunt. He has a switch out. This, this is not a good matchup, but he ran. But I thought he was going to switch out the Charizard, too, so. Okay, he swapped out. Ship tree. Oh, Jesus Christ. Alright, so we avoid the Thunderbolt and we Ice Beam the Thunderous. Dead. Which means the Heat Ran can't do anything to my Cresselia. Actually, we could do this. We could Trick Room. And. I'm a Wish. Oh, that's doing nothing. Alright. Let's do that. Ice Beam Ship Free for Weakness. And Scald Heat Ran. And we still got the Verizian left. So he was going to be taking Trip. And that did a lot of damage. Ouch. Oh, I had the wish. Awesome. Ice Beam Protect. Actually, ah, I was gonna I was gonna turn the trick room off. Yeah, we're going to turn the Trick Room off. And, um, Leaf Blade did how much? 60 to 60. They did a lot. How much did Ice Beam do? 51%? Okay, yeah, we're, we're just going to do that. We're going to Ice Beam. Uh, Wish. I got the Verizian in the back, so the Heat Ran's dead. I mean... Can I do shenanigans? I was like, I could skill swap Vaporeon and like do that. Let, let, let's see if I get that. All right. Didn't I scald the uh? Yeah, this just means Vaporeon can't die now.
I want to see if I can if I can do that. Yay for health. I was on a skill swap, did thing back, but I just realized my uh, Crystal is too slow. So we get we get the game on a crit. Um Uh, pretty pretty good game there. Made the right moves. I'm surprised he didn't bring Landorus or the uh what you would call it. I mean that would have been a good I mean considering I had Zapdos on it. I mean he should have known I was gonna bring my Zapdos into the battle. Um Let's let's go again. Alright, two intimidators. Uh, two Pokemon fake out. Oh, Jesus Christ. It seems like my best move here is to start with Zangoose and. I mean, Cresselia's good here. I don't know if I start with it though, but Ice Beam is just too good in this match. Um. Pidgeot can drop a Hyper Beam on a lot of stuff. I think I want to bring it because of the uh, Scrafty. I don't know if I start with it, though. I mean, if I start with it, I can keep Landorus in because he's going to want a Rock Slide. So I think we, we, we start with Pidgeot, but we need to have something in the back that can take the hit. Like Verizion. It doesn't do anything in this match, though. Uh, we have to bring Vaporeon. That's just unavoidable. And I don't know if I bring Zangoose. I probably do bring it though. Because I mean, it knocks Garver out in one hit. It knocks Ludicolo out in one hit. It knocks Landorus out in one hit. No, it knocks Thunderous out in one hit. It knocks uh, Entei out in one hit, I think. It gets a lot of damage though. That's what I'm going at to here. Plus, I can knock off Scrafty's. Um, Assault Vest, I know it has it. Or I could bring Verizion, just close combat it, it dies. I got the Stone Edge that could hit both the Landorus. But I lose my power against Gardevoir though, which is the problem. You know what? Verizion. So there's the Thunderous and Gardevoir, Cresselia and the Pidgeot. It's clear I'm obviously going to skill swap Gardevoir and I'm going to Mega Protect. Oh, that's a problematic lead there. Like, Gardevoir could do whatever it wants. So can Thunderous. But my Cresselia is at the mercy of the taunt, which is the reason why I'm thinking about putting Mental Herb on it. Because leads like this, I don't have to worry about that. But then I would have to take something off just so I could put on the uh, Moonlight. You know, I just realized I could I could pixelate. I could take pixelate, right? Give it to Pidgeot and drop a Hyper Beam pixelate. <laughs> <laughs> uh, do I want to try that? Is, is that something I want to do? That is something I, I, I want to try, actually. I give Pidgeot Pixelate, since it's already a normal type. Wait, no, I'm not, I'm not Fairy Dust. I don't get double stab. But it boosts the power of it, though. No, I don't think it boosted as much as I would with normal stab, so never mind. Alright, so what was the play here? I think I switched into Vaporeon. I'm gonna do that. Toxic and bring in Vaporeon. I'm not sure what I want Pidgeot to do. Okay, I'm fine with that. Of course, I switched it into a Thunderbolt.
pressure. I'm 176. Okay, so I should be faster. I'm gonna ice beam here. And I'm just gonna switch in. Nothing yet. I'm gonna protect. Because Entei is obviously gonna use whatever it's gonna use on Cresselia. The Sacred Fire. So we're gonna get some lefties gain here. We're gonna ice beam. What? Why not? I don't care anymore. Ice beam and protect. I got Pidgeot. So I can I can hit the Scrafty. Okay, I don't I don't know what's I don't know what's going on here. It's like this guy can see my moves. I'm gonna do. I, I think I lose this. Like Garvar is just too strong against me. What did I do? I clicked on something, right? Stone Edge, because why not? I should probably just. I should probably just hit this. Whatever, I guess. Like, Gardevoir wouldn't be as strong as it is if a, if many Pokemon had access to something like Wide Guard. But they don't. Now, I gotta be at the mercy of this damn Landorus. Icy Wind doesn't knock it out though, so I'm not even going to want to use it. Heat Wave knocks it out, but I get paralyzed, which is what I don't want. So I'm just going to scald that. In prison. So it's got protect. We take those. Oh, I thought I clicked wish. that it mattered all right what do we got my opponent's got drain punch uh, I don't know if that knocks me out heat wave knocks it out I can't use protect which I would just use to knock this thing out heat wave knocks out the guard of our uh, which I'm actually surprised I'm faster than because I'm not running any speed EVs if I get the burn on the heat wave Shenanigans happens. In prison, that's a that's a pretty good tech. I like that. All right, so what do we do? I think we uh, I think we calc 
that uh, drain punch. Um, I am at 35%. It has to be less than that. All right, Mega Pidgeot. Let's see what you got. I am running max HP, and we've got a uh, Scrafty. Was it VGC 15 bulky support? Let's try that set. Uh, my Hurricane can knock it out. 6.3% chance to. Uh, Hurricane Heat Wave. His Drain Punch does 30 to 35. So there's a chance he can knock me out. So I think we have to go with that. Oh, we didn't get the burn. Let's see if we live. He gets the crit. <laughs> oh my god. It's always the crit always the crit like I said it could do at most 35.4 I had 30 it said I it said it could do as much as 35.2 but I had uh, 35.4 or at least 37 percent ah oh, that's so annoying like it doesn't matter how well you play you just lose to bullshit and that's what that was all those annoying crits. I'm tired of seeing genies, man. If they get banned, I would be happy. All right, but let's see here. What do we got? What do we got? We got... I think Zangoose is actually... I think I'm going to start with Zangoose. We have to bring Pidgeot because of Venusaur. Uh, Pidgeot also has the Heat Wave. Um... Do I start with Zangoose? I don't see why not, right? Zangoose for Celio. Vaporeon in the back, as well as Pidgeot. There's a Thunderous and Terrakion. Not what I wanted to see this early, but we're going to protect Trick Room, I think. Yeah. Oh boy. Lumberry. Okay, we get our trick room. That's what I want to see. So I can straight up go bam, close combat, and. Ice Beam Thunderous. I'm glad I didn't decide to take that off of Zangoose. It just quits. Like, it'd be so much better if he just didn't have Prankster. But you know what? We're almost an hour into this. So I'm going to go ahead and end it here. Uh, if you guys like this video, then um, please subscribe to my channel. I'm always going to be doing Pokemon related stuff. Especially, we got more news for Pokemon Tournament coming out soon, so you guys can look forward to that as well. Um, if you guys did like the video, be sure to like it. Uh, leave any comments you have below, uh, especially if you have any suggestions I can use to edit this team. These are the Pokemon that I want to use, but I'm just still looking for ways to make them better. And as always, I want to thank you guys for watching my videos, and I hope to see you all in the next one.